Greetings, Torinos. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while. Hey, yeah, it's been forever. But me, I can't do videos unless I'm passionate about something. And I've got something here today that's given me a little passion. I have this here. Yeah, this article from a little ragamuffin of a local paper called the Interlake Spectator. An infinite God and prayers that go unanswered. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's got to say. Mm. Since retiring, uh, this is written, uh, let's back up a step. This is written by uh, a Dr. Henry Ozierney. Never heard of him. Since retiring as New Life Church's senior pastor two years ago, I have spoken more than a hundred times in many different places. Recently, I spoke at Lakeview Community Church in Killarney, where my daughter and her family attend. Isn't that special? My message that Sunday was about prayer and God's answer to them. I shared how God had answered many of my own prayers. Someone asked me after, though, then why don't prayers for people dying of terminal cancer ever get answered? Pretty goddamn good question, don't you think? I would think so, especially being a person who uh, watched my aunt die of cancer last year. I think it's very germane. Good question. Let's see what his answer is. Why not? Because we live in a fallen world, fallen because of humankind's sinful rejection of God and his ways, we experience many of the consequences of fallenness. Quote marks around that. Including death from cancer. In this guy's mind, we deserve it for not kowtowing to his imaginary friend's rules. Isn't that special? God could intervene, and stop each and every death. It's not a matter of his ability. But he has chosen to generally allow the natural course of events to happen. <laughs> He's chosen to let nature happen. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sometimes, in answer to our prayers, he does overrule them by his sovereign power, but not always. It's absolute, If absolutely every prayer for sick people were answered, nobody would ever die and this po planet's population would quickly balloon to ten times its present size. <laughs> Besides, death is not the worst thing that can happen to us. Mm -hmm. Right. Even worse would be living forever in this sinful world with no help of deliverance from it that death brings us. For when we die, we leave this behind. We leave behind this body of sin and experience in heaven and eternal bliss we can only hope for in this world. It's all okay by this guy, because when we die, when we die, a horrible, fucking painful death from cancer that you deserve because you're fallen. God made you that way and made you fall, and it's your fault. Because you couldn't live up to his rules that he made you unable to live up to. <laughs> Makes perfect fucking sense, doesn't it? Sounds like the kind of shit that somebody with no compassion or empathy whatsoever for the human condition would come up with. Fucking dick. <sighs> Let's move on. Probably the biggest challenge I face in all of this is trying to understand an infinite God whose ways are often inscrutable. What has helped me is a story that 4th century church leader Augustine told. Walking along a beach, he saw a little boy make a hole in the sand then get a shell full of water and pour it in. When asked what he was doing, the little boy said, I'm going to pour the whole ocean into that hole. Augustine thought to himself, and that is what I've been trying to do. Standing at the ocean of God's infinity, and I have attempted to grasp it with my finite mind. Mm -hmm. So I am not surprised my finite mind often cannot grasp the ways of an infinite God. If it could, frankly, I would be disappointed or he would no longer be infinite. And that is the entire contents of the article. <sighs> well, Dr. Henry A. Orzierny, in my opinion, you are a human being who lacks empathy for the human condition. Last year, when I was watching my aunt die of cancer, lots of people were praying for her. Not a fucking thing changed. She still died in agony. And she was, in fact, probably one of the most spiritual, religious, 
and compassionate and empathic person I have ever met in my life. And for someone like this to suggest that she died because of humanity's fallen condition, essentially saying you deserve it for not kowtowing to my religion's beliefs. Quite frankly, sir, you're an asshole. And anyone who thinks that way is an asshole and a self-deluded individual, especially when you have to go to poetic bullshit about how infinite God is and we can't possibly understand. Well, this less than infinite, imperfect, evolved human being can conceive of compassion beyond your fucking gods. So quite frankly, fuck you, asshole. An addendum, by the way. Also on the same page of the paper, here is, <laughs> is this fucking asshole. Look familiar? You make me look bad! <laughs> Leaving politics aside, dude, the fucking idiot who wrote this article, you made yourself look bad, you fucking dick. Fuck you. The rest of you out there, I offer peace and long life to you.